quiz, phases, and eclipses. Answer each question carefully. After you submit your test, you won't be able to change your answers. Karen is creating a presentation about the moon. Every night for a month, Karen observes the moon and records what it looks like. Karen notices that the moon changes shape slightly each night. And by the end of the month, she has recorded a variety of shapes. What are the different shapes of the moon called? A. Crescents B. Gibbous C. Patterns D. Phases Karen is creating a presentation about the moon. Every night for a month, Karen observes the moon and records what it looks like. She arranges the different shapes of the moon and labels them according to where they appear during the month. Drag each label to the correct moon in the diagram. So you're going to use these different rectangles and you're going to drag them to the correct box. And each choice is only used one time. On August 21st, 2017, Elizabeth saw a total eclipse of the sun with her class. She learned that there are two types of eclipses. The types of eclipses depend on the line between the sun, moon, and earth. When the moon passes directly between the sun and earth and blocks the sun's light, it's called a umbra, lunar, penumbra, or solar eclipse. When Earth is directly between the moon and sun, it is called a lunar, umbra, penumbra, or solar eclipse. Ethan often goes fishing with his uncle, and they use the rise and fall of the ocean water to determine when they will go. The ocean water rises and falls over the course of approximately every 12 and a half hours. What term describes the rise and fall of the ocean water? A. Eclipses B. Phases C. Moon D. Tides Tony waits for the spring tide to bring the best surfing waves in his area. He knows that the moon affects the tides, so which moons does he wait for? A. Waxing and waning crescent moons B. New moon and full moon C. First and third quarter moons or D. Waxing and waning gibbous moons The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, is a government agency that provides information on water levels, currents, and tides. Scientists at the NOAA track high and low tides to help ships to navigate more safely. Monitoring tides is an important job. Explain what causes high and low tides. You'll type it directly into the box here and notice that the box gets bigger as you type, okay? When you're all done, you turn it in.